going to be here at 10. So we got to move it, move it this morning. And I got two of my milking girls in here. Still not entirely sure how people keep, how these guys keep coming back and forth. This one I know. She comes through the giant hole over here. Most everybody's a little bit too big to do that. Let's get the rest of our crew. Okay. Love Shack crew is doing good, other than they pooped in their water. Yeah, we'll feed them in a minute. All right. Good morning. Pigs are already out taking a nap. They get out early, I think, when um, uh, the sun comes up and eat before it gets too hot. I'm gonna let me sneak in this way. that goat milk. I don't think there's anybody on the farm that doesn't enjoy the goat milk. Alright, let's go get babies. Let's go get the babies. There's Fern. So not out here. Come on, Waffles. Pixie's out. Maybe they'll come this way. He did find her eventually after he chased Fern around. We need to look and see when specifically he needs to be weaned. Because probably what's happening is since we have a big buck over here, he's acting more bucky. He can't breed Fern. Not the concern. Uh, the concern would be this one. Okay. <laughs> Only two more days of medicating. He actually looks dry this morning and not wet. And once we are confident that he's done scouring, and that may have been the probiotic may have settled in, maybe the medicine's finally kicking in, I'll give him a bath because he's pretty gross, just to make sure. Sometimes it gets hard if you're not watching them poop, to be able to tell that it's really dried up because they look so gross. So always the little bitty ones, if it's as messy as his was, it's because he's got that long hair like Luke. I just try to give him a bath. I gave Tinkerbell lots of baths.
all the goats make different faces with those range cubes because they have to get them on their back to eat, to eat them. But I think Luke makes the funniest face. Kind of getting a new rhythm with kind of shuffled everybody around. You guys ever like get in a routine and then change it up a little bit and it's confusing. It's like, oh wait, did I feed that animal? Good morning, Ben. Anybody out there know how to tell if your goat is blind or visually impaired? I really am more and more beginning to think that that's Pepper's problem. He gravitates towards things that would be easy to see, like that red barn. And it's, he gets in a big open space and there are no context clues for him to know. Where'd he go? Mom wasn't fast enough today, was she, buddy? <coughs> you gotta stop drinking it so fast. You gotta stop drinking it so fast, okay? I know it's good. Okay. Go feed the lovebirds. I think we'll be ready for the groomer and we gotta get an, a really good couple before shots of the puppers. Really hope he behaves. They are so stubborn. And that's always Duke's problem is not so much that he is aggressive. He just won't do what you wanted to do. He's been in here eating out the grain bucket. Dude, no. He eats the grain and I'm not that fussed about it. But he barfs every time he eats it. It's just not as hard on his stomach because we really only feed him dog food. I don't have any real hangups with giving outdoor dogs people food other than, you know, being careful that it's not bad for them. We give him eggs and toast and nothing that's overly seasoned. He has a super sensitive stomach. He tends to barf if you give him anything too out of the ordinary. And that grain has a lot of corn in it and molasses and just other things that not, it's not dog food. He always eats it. Breakfast for my lovebirds and clean water. Move it. Okay, you got about 30 minutes, buddy. Yeah, so we get a nice, good before shot of you. Looking all Grinch, he's got his Grinch feet. He's orange in some spots. The itches this morning. Oh, he has really bad dry skin. Look at this orange tail. This Caitlin's gonna make you look awesome. Eat a bath would be a huge improvement.
Okay guys, Duke is done for the day. Bless his heart. I'm gonna stick some pictures in right now. Um, he did a really good job. He liked the blow dryer, um, but he really hates his feet. His butt being shaved, he was kind of a turkey at times, but she did such an, a good job with him. Um, it just was so good. All right, here's the aftermath. And I've already swept up most of the hair. This is stuff that I gotta kinda wait until it dries out. And I'll show you. It's not completely full, but lots of pure hair. What are you guys gonna think? I think he's gonna look like. She blew out a bunch of his coat before she started trimming him up. And a lot of that hair is from that, but here he is. <laughs> me. Um, she did have to shave him. He had some pretty bad mats and we didn't shave him last year. We, um, he's gonna be mad at me for looking at him. He's definitely um, not pleased. He was a little snippy. And that's always the thing about Pyrenees is they just hate having their feet touched. And it's just, he enjoyed being here. It's much less stressful on him. We'll definitely do that again. That just worked so well. Our love pen over here. How are the love shack friends doing? Hmm? Bean, are they still not being nice to you? Are they still not being nice to you? Well, sorry. They'll warm up. They'll warm up. They will. Be nice to me. Y'all stink. Y'all smell like stinky buck. Hmm? You know what's really funny about goats is it's all tall in here, but they have trimmed all around where they can keep, they stick their head out. Like, look at this. We didn't know this. This is goats. All right here. Are you naked, buddy? Are you naked? You're not a polar bear anymore. You're not a polar bear anymore. And your tail looks like real funny. This is what Pyrenees tail looks like. But it doesn't have any hair. See, Hank's not sure what's going on. Are you okay? Are you okay? Shrub knows it's him. Well, bud, I think you I think you freaked Hank out. Are you okay? Did he get you? Hello. Hello, piggy wiggies. Dooney. Yeah. Well, that's some grass on your face. And you're all gross. You're hard to pet. I mean, look at this. Tune. It's more mud than there is pig. Pork chop managed to like leave one orange stripe with no mud. Yeah, so we're happy our big pig is feeling better. We are. Way smoother than yesterday and the day before. Finally, kind of figuring it out again. The reason that we hadn't been putting them over there, I didn't want to move the moms away from the babies while they were weaning. So that was one reason. Another reason is they're eating the bark off the trees, and I've got to wrap the cheese and the cheese, the trees, and chicken wire so that they can't eat the bark. 
and kill the trees. wore me out helping the dog. I wish I could have showed you more of that process, but he really, it, I was nervous. He probably did way better than I thought that he did, but I just really wanted to focus and make sure that like he was not a sinker because he can be. There you go. We always have snuggles before bed. That's what she's waiting on. She was waiting on me. We gotta give brother some medicine for his gut first. I kinda liked that last line after we got it all in her mouth. Sister, clean your mouth up for you. Come here! Come here! Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Make sure if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you know every time they put out a new video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this silly Pyrenees get his Corona cut pandemic style haircut. We love you guys, really appreciate all the likes, all the new subscribers, everything that's been going on, and we will see you guys in the next video.